With the pandemic raging on, the Washington Employment Security Department says it has actually cleared a large backlog of unemployment claims, but it doesn't include everyone who's waiting. Lindsay Nadrich digging deeper into what they've done and what's next here. Lindsay? Yeah, well, the Washington Employment Security Department says it's met their goal for Operation 100% and resolved the backlog of 81,508 claims that were part of that project. But there are still 30,000 people in Washington still waiting for benefits. So far, the Washington Employment Security Department has paid more than 8.6 billion in benefits to more than 966,000 people. By July 25th, 75% of all claims had been paid, leaving about 30,000 people still waiting. We know there are still many who have been waiting a significant time to have their issues on their claims resolved and who desperately need the benefits for which they may be eligible. Moving forward, Commissioner Susie Levine said it will take on average four weeks for someone with an issue to get it resolved. They launched a new data dashboard Monday so people can keep track of their progress. In mid-May, Washington was also hit with a major fraud attack. As a result, payments were paused for nearly 200,000 people while they worked to combat that. We prevented substantial funds from going out. I know that there were many people impacted by the decision to pause the payment of claims, and I'm so sorry for that impact on those legitimate claimants. That was the hardest decision that I've had to make in my career. Washington paid 86,449 fraudulent claims to the tune of $576 million. So far, they've recovered $340 million and are working to recover more. And the big question moving forward, what happens now that that extra $600 federal benefit has expired? Congress is still debating, but some programs would be easier to implement than others. If it's 70% of an individual's wage to retool our system, it's like rolling out a new benefit. It is like a whole new system. And it would take us an estimated four to five months to deliver. So the earliest would be mid-November. All right, in case you missed that, I'll say that again. If Congress decides to go with a percentage based on people's income in, in Washington, people could be waiting until November to see any of that federal money. Like Oregon, Washington says a flat dollar amount would be the easiest to implement, but no matter what, they will take time. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News.